hello everybody it's Jess here with Blush Jess thank you so much for watching welcome to a very fun video so I told you guys all about our Epcot day with the kids um, I'll link that down below if you missed it but today I'm going to tell you guys about when David and I dropped the kids back off at the condo and we spent a few hours in Epcot just ourselves so my in-laws were with us for this trip and we were able to do that it was really nice so the kids were kind of done with Epcot about 5 30 we took them back to the condo kind of got them situated and got right back out the only bad thing is we had to repark <laughs> so we were kind of further out um, but it wasn't too bad to walk in and on the way into the park sorry if you can hear screaming children I'm filming and it's summer um they're fine <laughs> they're just playing um on the way back into the park, I told David, like, we should make a reservation or do something, like, really nice for dinner because, you know, we don't have the kids with us. And this was kind of, like, unexpected. And um, I was looking at, like, the different reservations that were available, and there were some. We thought about eating in the Germany buffet. It was going to be, like, $50 a person. And I was just like, I don't know. Is it going to be worth that? And then I had the idea, what if we just got a bunch of, like, snacky things and tried a bunch of different food? And so that's kind of what we did. We, if you don't know, if you've never been to Epcot, there's a whole world showcase of countries, like 10 plus countries around this big lake. And every single country has food and shopping and like, you really feel like you're there. It's very like the, the landscaping, the buildings, it's really, really cool. So we had this idea to like eat around the world and just get, get like, they have little small snacks or um, share stuff, like to just get a little bite of something and then try new things. Like we get to try a bunch of stuff instead of just like picking dinner at one place. So if you go to Epcot, I would definitely recommend doing this. If you have more people going with you, it'd be even better because you get to share more things because we crossed off a bunch, but there was still a lot that we didn't get to because we got full and we ran out of time. But I thought I'd take this video and tell you guys about the things we did eat because we ate some really good things. And I actually posted it on our Instagram. So if you're not like you, if you've already seen our Instagram, you may have seen a lot of the pictures. Um, they're so distracting out there. I really hope you guys can't hear them. Um, so if you're not following me on Instagram, you definitely should. Blush Jess 86. I do post more like up to date stuff over there. YouTube sometimes there's a little bit of a delay. So if you have missed out, make sure you're following me. Um, but we did rate everything a scale of one to 10. So, you know, if you're going to Epcot, what you should try, I'll try to remember about the price of everything. Everything's not gonna be perfect. And then also, um, what was going on was a flower and garden festival. So there was even more food stands around the countries. So some of these are those, which is even better because they were even smaller, like little taste of food. So you're able to do more. So the very first thing we did after we dropped the kids off, walked all the way back from, you know, the parking lot, all the way back to the World Showcase, which is, it's in the back of the park. We were hot. <laughs> and we started off with something that's not really from a country. Um, they had a Dole Whip cart. And we were going to Magic Kingdom the next day. But I just was like, I don't know if we're going to be able to get a Dole Whip then. I don't know if it'll work out, like, timing-wise, because they do have the Dole Whips in Magic Kingdom. Um... I think it's over in Adventureland, but they had like a small little, it was for the Flower and Garden Festival, so I'll insert a picture here of the Dole Whip. If you've never had a Dole Whip, oh, they're so good, and it's so refreshing. It's like a pineapple soft serve, and it's just light and fruity and delicious and creamy, and it's so good. <laughs> so we shared, and it came in like a really cute cup. I was like, I wish I had a backpack. We could just keep this cup, but it's I didn't we just I was wearing my fanny pack and we had no bags and no kids with us which was amazing so um we didn't rate this one but I I can definitely tell you that it was like a 10 out of 10 it was so good when you get them in Adventureland and in the Magic Kingdom you can get a Dole Whip float and that's even better they put like pineapple juice or there's different ones oh uh, this was just the soft serve and we shared it. it was so good so we started at the Canada side and kind of worked our way around um we didn't do every single country because like I said we started getting really full and David had a reservation for the roller coaster guardians of the galaxy. So we just hit the ones we could hit. The very first one we did was Canada. Like I said, we started in Canada and I knew I wanted to try poutine. Although for my Canada friends, I know you guys correct me. And I've heard from my friend Darlene too, that it's poutine. 
that you guys call it poutine. And in America, we say poutine. I don't know. We, I'm going to defer to the Canadian pronunciation. Poutine. So basically, if you've never had that, it's just French fries. They put like cheese curds on it and they cover it in brown gravy, which seems so weird to me. But I knew like it was so popular. Everybody said it's really good. So I wanted to try it. And it was something totally different that we had never eaten. So we went to the stand and got it. Here is a picture. This was one of my favorite things we had all night. It was so different. The cheese curds were very, very cold. Um, David kind of wished they were more melty, which I don't know if that's a thing. Like, are they supposed to be melty? These were such big chunks that the fries didn't really melt them that much. But I kind of enjoyed like the cold cheese with the hot fries and the hot gravy. I'm not usually a big fan of brown gravy, but with this, it just worked so well. David didn't like it as much as me. He rated it a 6 out of 10. I gave it an 8.5 out of 10, although towards the end of the night, it kind of was growing on me. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I think I enjoyed it a little bit more than 8.5. I would definitely get this again. It was so good. It wasn't very expensive. I don't remember how what much it was, like 6 or $7 probably. Um, and it was so so good. So if you go to Epcot, you definitely should try the poutine. And they had different ones too, but we just got like the classic poutine. All right. Next up, at this point, we had the great idea to go ahead and put it on Facebook that we were doing this challenge and put it on Instagram and get people telling us where we should go. And very quickly, a lot of people were saying, and this one was already on my list anyway, uh, I had lots of people saying uh, the fish and chips in the UK, like in England, you should definitely go there because the fish and chips are so good. And I've heard the same thing. And it's something I had been wanting to try lots of times when we were in Epcot. And we just never went there because this stand only serves fish and chips, I believe. There's nothing else. So <laughs> I don't know our kids would like it. But y'all, the best fish and chips I have ever had. I'm not even kidding. This one was more expensive. I think it was like $12 because it's a big size piece of fish and um, fries. When they say chips, they mean fries. To us, fries <laughs> and to them chips. Um, y'all, this was crispy, super crispy. The inside was flaky and just so good, y'all. This was so, so good. Um, I gave it a nine and a half solid nine and a half. David said eight and a half. I've never had better fish and chips though. So, I mean, so good if you like fish and chips. And I, when I saw the fries, I was like, oh, these aren't going to be that good. Like they just look kind of boring. No, they were delicious. They were so good. I was so impressed with them. Everything was like piping hot. I think because they only do the one thing, you know, it, they, it's all really fresh. And so they have like tartar sauce and malt vinegar and ketchup you could get. And it was delicious. All right. At this point, we had had two like savory things and we were ready for something sweet. We had to like pace ourselves. <laughs> I didn't want to get too many sweet things at the row at the end or something. And so we went to France and um, I had heard, I had actually read about this and it kind of came back to me when we were doing this, like, oh, we need to go to France because I had heard that there's a brioche roll that you can get, a brioche bread that they stuff with your choice of ice cream. And that to me just sounded so good. So there was quite a line, which told me that it probably was really good. <laughs> this little ice cream shop in France. So you go in, you can get like ice cream cones and sundaes and all different kinds of things. But we were there for the brioche. So what they do, I actually kind of try to take a video of the guy doing it. If you can tell, maybe I'll put it in here. Um, they take a brioche bread bun. They cut it in half. They put it in this press. They put a scoop of ice cream. We chose the candied peanut one. We were doing peanuts because we never get to do peanuts with because we didn't have Nate with us. This is like a candied peanut chocolate ice cream. Um, and then they let you choose your sauce, which they have like caramel, they had chocolate and like a raspberry sauce. We did the chocolate and then they put the top on the brioche bun and then they press it all together. So the brioche bun is very warm and soft and delicious. And then the ice cream is still cold and it is y'all probably the best dessert we have ever had. Like so good. This was 10 or $11 worth every penny, worth every penny. It was so good. We split one. Um, I would love to go back and try like different combinations. They have like a Nutella ice cream. I think that would be really good. We gave it a 10 out of 10. It was delicious. If you can only get one dessert in Disney World, go to France. The ice cream shop in France is a little tiny ice cream shop. 
and it was so good. And the people in there were all from France, so the cast members, which is also a really neat touch too. They were really nice. Okay, we're going to move on. <laughs> we're going to move on. Um, the next thing was Morocco, and uh, this is the one I was kind of, uh, kind of not sure about because we're not big on that kind of food. I do like some things though. Um, so we decided to be a little adventurous and get a kebab, although it's probably not that adventurous. We got a kebab, a chicken kebab, and it came with like this, um, chickpea salad, which I actually really like this salad. It had like pine nuts or almonds, maybe almonds and raisins and carrots and chickpeas. It was very different. And then the kebab was like a grilled chicken, um, kebab. It had like a yogurt sauce on it. Um, I took one bite of the kebab and that was it for me. I do not like a very meaty taste. Like I just, I'm not a big meat eater. And so this was very meaty. David loved it. So take that with a grain of salt. I love the salad part way more than the kebab. So he ate the kebab. Uh, David gave it an eight out of 10 and I stuck with a five. I mean, it had a good flavor. I could definitely tell, taste the flavor. It just was too meaty for me. Um, this was really cheap. This was like less than $5 and it was a good size, like little taste. I mean, it wouldn't be enough to fill you up for a meal, but for this kind of thing, like a little snack, it was really good. So, okay. At this point, we're starting to get a little bit full, but we're like powering through because we still want to try a few more things. David's time is running close. We don't have a lot of time. So we're just trying to hurry through and try a few more things. So we go to Germany and we were trying to decide like, should we get like, there's so much good, like sweet stuff in Germany. There's like the Werther's caramel station shop thing has like popcorn and caramels and caramel apples. And we were still pretty sweetened out from that brioche ice cream. So we decided to go for savory. They had a cart. Um, I think it was for the flower and garden festival and they had potato pancakes and I love potato pancakes and just having one in Germany. Like they're really known for that. They had different ones. We decided to go with a classic, which was a potato pancake with applesauce. And we, we had like mixed feelings about this. So we really liked the potato pancake. Super good, well seasoned, delicious. We really liked the applesauce. The applesauce was great. I wasn't a big fan of them on top, like mixed together. It just was kind of a weird taste to me. I know that's very classic, but to me, it didn't really go together that well. Um, but on their own, they were good. <laughs> so maybe next time I would try like a savory potato pancake. But it was really fun to try. It wasn't too big. I think it was like $4.50, uh, which is a good price for good size serving. Um, I gave it a 6 out of 10 and so did David. So good, but not great. Okay, we're going to move on to China, to China. And I knew, I knew, I knew I wanted to try egg rolls in China. Egg rolls are one of my all-time favorite foods. I love egg rolls. Like, I love them. I could just go to a Chinese restaurant and eat egg rolls. Um, I don't know why. I just really love them. There's like, they're crispy and they're warm and I don't know. They're good. So we went and got egg rolls in China. Very good egg rolls. Crispy, well-seasoned, not mushy really good set of two was around five dollars I thought that was a good price we each had one um the only thing that didn't make these a 10 for me is they were slightly room temperature they weren't piping hot so they were piping hot they'd been a 10 but I said nine David said eight these were really good I what I loved most about them is how crispy they were and they didn't get mushy which sometimes happens okay we have one more thing and it's going to be a sweet thing so lots of people told us that we needed to go to Norway and get like one of the pastries in Norway. And we walked into that Norway shop, bakery, y'all, it smelled so good. There was cinnamon rolls. There was school bread, which I thought about getting a school bread because that's like so classic, but David doesn't really like coconut and they had coconut all over it. So we didn't do that. Um, they had all kinds of different things and what we decided to get because it just looks so good. Y'all wait till you see this picture. I'll put it right here. This was a Kringla and we got the chocolate one. They also had the almond one. This was almost like a cinnamon roll dough that was like twisted, almost like a pretzel. And then like this white chocolate. It also had raisins in the dough. And then it had like a white and milk chocolate drizzle on top. So good. And by this time we were very full, <laughs> but this is a great way to end it. Looking back, I wish we could have tried a few more things. If we had a few more hours to stretch out um, the, the tastings, this was all crammed into like 
two hours. Uh, but anyway, it was really, really fun. I gave the Kringle a eight and a half and so did David. It was so good. Um, we were just, I think, really, really getting full. It was so fun. And then David went left to do his Guardians of the Galaxy time. And I kind of waited around, read a book. And then I got one more thing. I got a Starbucks. Starbucks at Disney just hits different. And I got a salted caramel cold brew iced coffee. Cold, cold foam. Salted caramel cold foam. Cold brew whatever it is. It was delicious. <laughs> 10 out of 10. How do you recommend? And I sat there, drank my coffee, read a book and waited for David. I missed the fireworks because you couldn't see them from where I was sitting, but I didn't even stress out about it because I was just enjoying some me time. So that is our eating around the world talk. I hope you guys enjoyed. Which one, you guys tell me right now, which one would you want to try the most? If I could go back, I would definitely get the fish and chips again and the poutine. Those were my two favorites. And that ice cream, that brioche ice cream. I can't forget about that. But there was so many. Like, I want to go try the German pretzel. And the, um, there was like a, what we really wanted to do, we ran out of time. There was a shaved ice in Japan, like Japanese shaved ice. I didn't even know that was a thing. It looked really, really good. So lots of things to try. And I, what's cool is we could do this over and over and try all new things. So this is going to be a tradition that we do every time, I hope. And maybe we can bring the kids with us next time when they're a little bit older and more adventurous with food and we can let them try some stuff. That'd be really fun. So we spent less money than we would at a sit down restaurant and uh, way less actually. And we had to try all of these different flavors. It was so good. So if you like this video and you want to see more like it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below and subscribe if you're new. We'll see y'all tomorrow. so small watch the clock ticking off the wall but tonight i'm letting it go spend my coin for sure i'm gonna 